What's up guys, this is Rixalite signing in and welcome to Hyrule Warriors The Definitive Edition. Now, we've got a few things that we have to talk about today, but first of all, let's get some content out of the way. As we know from the last game, from what we played on the Wii U, what we've been playing a lot of, we're going to be playing a lot more on the Switch, but what I'm going to do for today, today's video is going to be on the Switch The Definitive Edition, and then next week for about four weeks... We're going to be finishing off the Wii version with all, all the characters I need to play, so I might do it in like a few videos to try and get it all over and done with. And then we're going to return back to this for reasons. I should explain that later. But either way, so when we played the main campaign on the original channel, we didn't get to play Farron Woods with Lincoln because that was in the DS version, which came out a year later. But without a further ado, -do, let's play as Lincoln. Just because we have power and plus we've got cutscenes again, which is quite nice. And plus it's in 1080 this time and not 720. She is adorable. So there might be some more of these missions along the lines have not actually finished. I never actually finished the DS version, so... Have you heard? Hyrule Castle's best. Eh! <laughs> The Zelda herself is fighting, but it's not doing much good. If those monsters make it here. Why is there a game where we could play as Linkle? I was expecting Thingy to be one. Like, in Breath of the Wild, you get to play as Linkle or as Link. Because we're going to be changing a few things out for the next uh, for next characters as well. Because I'm going to play the next level and show you something else that's in this game. Quite fun. My grandmother always told me that secretly I was a legendary hero. But everyone's grandmother says that. Look! This is my compass! My grandma gave this to me. It's a magic compass. Proof. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a castle to protect. See, yeah, that's what I want. But I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I was playing as Linkle again. I miss playing as Linkle because she's amazing. She really is. I wish I could just have a camera. Getting ready and just show you what I'm playing on right about now. So my this this only came out today, by the way. So I have been playing it for a little while. Now they've got to this part, and they try and get um, because I have to re re-unlock all the characters again. So I'm gonna have to play through the main campaign, <laughs> as well as unlocking all the characters from the freaking world. Okay. See, so this was like what I've missed. You know, just trying it out. So there might be more levels like this with Skull Kid and all that lot. And also there's the... I have to redo everything in this game. So that's why... If playing it on the Wii U version so they'll get everything ready again will be alright. If there's some gaps in between... Like say for example when we finish the Wii U map and play as Ganon on the one as well. I've got to move over to the Switch and do the exact same things again. Because I'm going to have to show you... Why, <laughs> for example, that's going to happen? Because obviously we might have to return to this as well because there's going to be more. There may be more levels that's exactly like this because Linkle wasn't in the Wii U version until it was a DLC. But then also bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. See, I wasted money on the uh, 3DS one because I bought the 3DS game only going to get the extra characters for the Wii U game. But it was about a month later. Where they released all the playable characters anyway for the thing. So I was like, well, I just wasted £35 to just buy that game. But now they're all in one full circle. In one big game, all the things completely. So as you can see, a few things have changed a little bit here. The bizarre button is now an R button. I've got 60 minutes to do this quest. As you can see now on the map itself, there is three owl points. That is because we can actually travel inside the maps themselves now to get to locations faster, which is quite nice, because you have to use, like, a, a golden ocarina. All these things are normal, so without further ado, let's dive in, because I've only played as Linkle in this one. So as you can see, there are a statue, and school kids here. Which is crazy. See, the thing is, this one is more like the DS version mixed with the um, the Wii U one. Cool kid. Okay, come on, chickens! You're my friends today! It sounds like last time we got botched. Okay, here we go. So, like, as you can tell now, you see the character symbols now green. 
because halfway through the game, well, I'll show you in the next map because I'm going to be doing two levels today just to show you the differences between what was what and what isn't. So this would be basically like a normal map. Right, where are we going? Um, sure. So as you can tell, like, already things look different. Well, it even looked clearer to me. I was like, since I put it on the big screen, it looks a lot more fine. It looks more finesse, more finite. A lot more smooth as well. The combat is so much more easier to work with. It's brilliant. But the problem so far is that I've got to get all my characters' levels back up to where they were again, which is going to be a piss take. And because of what else I'm just um, holding back to telling you until at the end. Because there's some scary fucking shit that's like, oh no. You know, so, oh well. Right. Oh, there was a fire and woods in here last time. Right. Where the fuck am I even going? You know, well, let's get some of this. Didn't really need that, but sure. Alright. I'm glad I've still got my amiibo though, because I'll be using it every time, and I can cheat a lot, a lot with it. <laughs> so I can set like the freaking game standards out. I don't know. It'd be nice to do though. Get some cheats on the go. Right. I don't know what my first goal is to get. Is it get to the first statue or anything? See, I don't have like a mini screen to tell me what all these freaking shit is, which is quite a problem. And now all my buttons have changed, so I've got to like try and get used to all these new buttons as well. Skull Kid teleports east. Oh, I see. I've got to get to Skull Kid. Okay. That makes sense. Right, let's get you on the go. Right, now that I've activated that, I'm going to show you the new power of the um, Orcrina. Here we go. Excuse me, kids. I'm just going to uh, go to this statue over here. I, I couldn't do that. Oh, yeah, I did. I could. Good. It opened because Skull Kid is moving. See, this is what I mean, like, so it's a lot different. But that was not Skull Kid. Did you do a red her herring on me, bitch? Right, at least I can do some skills in a minute now. Okay. One of the best characters that came out of the DS version was this this girl. This girl is so powerful. We already knew this, though, didn't we? Like, so. Just annihilating enemies like that is just so fucking cool. Right, where the fuck is Skull Kid? Well, right, let me just take out the eastern eastern tree, so then I can get some more shit on the go, you know? Right, I'll need, other than that, at least I can do still two things at once, and now where I know more buttons are. Although, I'm only playing it for like an hour or so. Well, probably a lot longer than that, because I need to try and get all, all my characters up to where they need to be. Which I'm not a fan of at the moment, to be honest, but oh well. Right, I need to go around the back then, don't I? So if that's the case, come on, Golden Ocarina. Ooh, how, do, how am I going to do that? Huh, because I can go up. I'm going to have to go up, aren't I? Just get them up there. Get that other owl protected. So it's not activated yet, I don't think. Unless the... Oh, yeah, yeah. The green ones have activated. The other ones have not. Okay. That makes sense. I can get the owls ready. <laughs> Kuko Chick is advancing for food. Hello, little one. Oh, yeah, though, you... Are you looking for food? I don't know. This is dangerous. That girl is so dangerous. Right, can we go up here? Nope, that's not where I want to go. What do I have to do? Oh, I've got to go there, do I? Uh, okay, I can go there. Is there an easy way to get to there? Yeah, there is, actually. Ha, 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 ha. I love the teleportation bullshit. It's actually quite entertaining. There we go. The owl movements. Whoops, didn't mean to use this. I'm, I'm not used to the controls just yet. I don't know why I'm pressing A a lot. Just to do some, like, barrel rolls. Maybe because it's been, like... I probably know why. No, 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 that were the bumper buttons. That makes no sense, then. I don't know why I'm doing that. Maybe it's just, like... I don't know. I just do not know. I'm just glad that the controls for this game are just so much more simpler. Why do I have to come down here? Oh. I feel like I've got a freaking pad in the middle, but I don't. What's this? Okay, I don't know why I had to do that. Why did I have to do that? Rescue North Square. Well, chickens are with me now, but... I don't understand why that is there. Why is this here? Hold of Monsters appeared. I see. Okay, because this is where I had to take them then, do I? Oh, dear. See, I like how above the characters' heads now, it tells you what their weaknesses are when they're getting ready to do shit. So you can, like, interrupt them a little bit, which is really fucking cool. Really, really cool. Right. You're better as an AOE. 
all around attack. I don't know. But I need I need there we go. Right, you guys ready? Yes! I got you to your chicken feed spot. Yeah, I did that to the chicken feeding area. Good. Now can I get some more can I get the golden one on my side now? That'd be lovely, thanks. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. So I'm going back to where I came from. There we go. That is so much more easy to get around the map. Like, oh my god, that is saving so much time. That is brilliant. Right. At least, at least it's a nice thing to do because that's going to help out as well, hopefully. It might not be in all the maps after the one I've just picked up. But if it is, and it's also going to be in the adventure maps, then oh my god, it's going to make some of these things a lot more easier to do. Way more easier. And I know why now we're struggling on some of the maps. Because I know the difficulty of them. They never told you the difficulty before. But now they do. But. I thought I was ready to end the series. Yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. Obviously, the guys already know this. Or already played the game. You know why. But I like playing things weekly. I don't want to play any more time out of this. Maybe we've got like, oh, I've got a spare day. Maybe I'll like blast out on it, maybe. Right, you a skull kid? How you doing, brethren? Oh, did you run away, you coward? Where did you go now? All right, well. Oh, nice little tornado move by me. Come on, bitches. Come on, bitches. Okay, let's get Lincoln to level six. Kind of need a level six. My highest character so far is a level 10, and that's Impa and Sheik sharing the load. At the moment, Link is my next character to be on 10. Maybe Lana as well, because she's the bae. We know she's the real bae. I've got to play as her first, though. To get her up to the level of everybody else. Hence, in the next level, which is what we're going to be doing. Right, what can Link will get here? Capture the keep and find Skull Kid. Why button? I'm, like, really looking forward to playing this a lot more than the other one. Just for the fact that... Because of what I've seen, something... That looks like a new character, and I have no idea where they, who the fuck they are. Like I, I don't even recognize them. Like I know all the characters in the previous game, but this does not look even recognizable one bit. Unless it's Medley, but I've seen Medley as a playable character, but it's not her, and it's not Mary either because I know where she is as well. Oh shit! And I've got to fucking find all these tosses again. Where are you? Where are you? Down here? Ah, here you are. Thank you! Alright, thanks for the illustration game. Appreciate it loads, boy. Come on, Big Pearl. This literally does so much damage to these still. Love it. At least they've not nerfed any characters yet. But I want to know if there is a new character or not. That's what I really, really want to know. No, well, we've already got some costumes lined up as well. I don't know what other, what other costumes we actually have, but I've but I've looked at all the maps, and there's a lot more costumes than what there originally was. Like I know all the characters that we unlocked from the first map, because I've looked a little glance at the few that we have. The golden ones on my side. Fuck yeah, dude. Sweet. Okay, why do I have to go over there? Defeat the incoming big pearl. Okay. Where the fuck is he then? Right. Oh, wow. Not hard to avoid that one, is it? So I need to go up there to kill the big Poe? Oops. I'm down here now. Now what? I don't know if that's where I need to be or not, but fuck it. I don't care anymore. I helped the chickens, and that's all I need to do. Right, where the fuck is Link Skull Kid then? I should really head to that. Let me go head to it. Right, just saves a little bit of time. You're just walking around the corner. Oh, I just realized what I could have fucking done. Never mind, I'm stupid. Oh well, I'm up here now. I won't ignore it. A horde of monsters appeared around the Kuko Jake. Is this another feeding plate feeding ground? Maybe that's what it is. To get another golden chicken. Hey, I'm not gonna freaking complain against a golden chicken. Here we are. Here we are, boys. Here we go. Wah! Very good. Very good. Okay, we'll kill you with this. Lock onto the guy. Whoopsie doodle. Alright, oh, oh, he's immune to this shit. Well, he were for that second, anyway. Go on, you gonna do your attack? Thanks, game. Wow, she's actually really powerful for this level. Holy fuck. Well, probably she's supposed to be level one at this area, so... It would make sense. Alright, what do the reading, reading grounds do again? Coco, enough... 
Oh, yeah, son. Get a second Goldie. Second Goldie. I'm just going to head down here. I didn't know this was here before. I wonder if there's any like, extra things on the map other than what I've seen already. Like, I know the owls are new, and I'm already adjusted to that really quickly. And I wasn't really ready for it. Cause, like, on the 3DS, you know how we're, like, killing a thousand enemies here? Like, near enough, like, closing up onto two? It's just... On the free on the three DS, it's just really really minuscule. Like instead of like, oh no, one of the um, in-game achievements for this game is to kill hundred people using your A attack, your golden bar. And there's also one for killing a thousand with the green. But now what they've done on the three DS one, it, your gold bar has to kill fifty, which is the highest I've ever got on that is twenty five. The highest I've ever got on this was like eighty odd or something like that. So it's quite. That's how like how different it just shows you how how this all is, you know. And it's not oh shit. Get it activated, Linkle, because we need to fucking go. This is what's good. I know my base is in danger, and I can just leg it. It is so much more easier to have it like where the main base is, which is going to be such a good help when I need it. As we already know, it's massive help already. Just by doing this. So. It's just even more of a bigger help. Oh boy, here we go. Let's get in this mess. Let's get this freaking base cleaned up. Is that my biggest so far? I think it is for the day. Let's get some powers on the go then. Thank you, Linko Lady Girl. You are not going to be the only mission today, though, considering this is a brand new game that came out today. Or the Definitive Edition did. And we are going to kick the living shit. Out of everything, we fucking can. Linko, what the fuck? This is why I love you. This is why I fucking love you. You are so good. Girl, you are amazing. You are my favorite <laughs> by fucking hell. That's the highest I've ever had. 300 enemies? What the fuck? Girl, I love you. You are amazing in every fucking way. Man, you you, you the best. You the best. Alright, well, I found the one I used the most already. The Golden Oc Ocarina is really good. Very helpful for the owls. Very helpful. This is like the most entertaining freaking Hyrule Warriors video I've actually ever done, apart from when I did the main freaking campaign originally. But because, like, my hype is literally existing for this game right about now, it is just so good. Just so, so good. I could play this all day. I might even play this all day. No, no. I'll stick to what I was doing before, playing it in my spare time. Because I've got a lot more spare time with this game than I did for the Wii U. Because I can't take the Wii U with me wherever I go. Like, say, for example, if I want to play it with it, I had to pick up my Wii controller. My, like, my big one with a screen. And with a Switch, all I've got to do is just take the freaking game. That's all I have to do. It's just so much more easier this way. Like, even if I had to... I had to mess about with all the wires before and everything and all the freaking battery packs. All this is is a fucking... Just, just, just the console itself because it's so lightweight and so tiny i love it i didn't mean to press that button still not used to it but i'm happy so i feel like i'm gonna have more enjoyment playing this one because i can take it wherever i go like for example for example oh no i've got work it takes me about an hour and a half to go to work i was like oh look i've got hi i've got freaking legend of zelda to play i'll play that then because we can save it in the middle of the fucking fights we couldn't do that before which is just so much more nicer. So much more nicer. Because you can do that for the 3DS, but to do so, you needed to own uh, an SD card. I do have one for the 3DS, but it kind of like made it like, eh, we can't really do this. Now, I don't think they had like a lot of things, considering this is a disc, or this is like a little freaking fat, fat ass cartridge, which has got a lot of memory on it, by the way. I don't think the 3DS chips had as much memory as these do. You probably could do now, though, considering, but... Eh, well. This is just so good. Like, I have missed the enjoyment of this game. Where the fuck is School Kid? Oh, hello, School Kid. How you doing? Well, guess what I've got? I've got something with your name on it, kid. There you go. Land, and I'll just freaking rip you to shreds. I can't believe how much trouble you're having. <laughs> Still. Oh, are you gonna run away, kid? Aw, oh, boo-boo. Oh, you traveled in the fairy fountain, did you? Well, guess what, mate? I can also fucking teleport. Haha, <laughs> did you think I couldn't? 
I know what I'm doing, sir. This is what I mean, though. Like, the story map's already this has took me 20 minutes, but considering this is a special occasion, I'm going to have to do it like this, you know? Just for today's video. Everything else will go back to normal after today. It's just that I want to show you... Well, I guess I don't have to fight another mission. I can just show you like, all the rest that's different so I can continue on my own time. So that's probably what I'm going to do then is like finish up this level because it's already past our mark that we're used to. And then from that, I'll um, show you what I, what is new to the game because I've obviously played the other one. Oh, Golden Baby, you are so good. Right, school kid. Come here, you little foothole. Eat my freaking crossbows, biatches! Oh, press the wrong button to fight again. Like always. Oh, no. Ow, 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 ow. Fairies. Fairies. Ow. Yeah, I'm going to show you a lot more things. Like, some things have even confused me in this game because I have no idea. I'm not a Scott. It's a fucking feeding area when I'm nearly defeated Skull Kid. Oh, no, you teleported. Never mind. Oh, I know where you've gone, you little cheating scallywallop. It's not that hard for me, though, to go to. Deal with a big poke. Nearly killed 3,000 alone on with this character. Holy shit. That is good. That is really good. Well, I guess I could just use this again and go to the easy way. Right? There we go. Go to this one. I'll fly there. Because that shit is what I need. That shit is what I live for. You boys. Alright. This bridge looks, feels new. I don't know why it just feels new. I know the same guy who makes Dynasty Warriors made this. And this game is just fantastic. Uh, yes, I was getting bored of it playing it day in, day out. Huh? What just happened? Okay. I have no idea what just happened. Did Skull Kid just get nerfed? Okay, so the, so the compass is magical? Oh shit. I don't have no health potions. Would be nice to have some health, please. I need to kick some ass. Before I die. Oh wait, I've got continue points. Never mind. I forgot I, I forgot I had those. Right, come here, school kid. I've got a weapon with your name on it, sir. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Neely, Neely. There we go. Oh, what? I didn't kill the big poe. Yeah, yeah, I did. Good. Oof. That was scary. Let's get some silvers in there. Not picked up a gold yet, but we'll get round to it. Okay, the one base you could have teleported to. Lincoln took the compass back from school. Okay. Oh, is he stole it? Alright. Sure. But there might be more storyline with Lincoln down the line. And I want to know if there is. I only got past to this part, played Lincoln on her own, and then never played the game again after that on the free yes. Hey now, don't even joke. No more stealing my compass. She will fucking wreck you. She wrecked this army all on her own. Alright. Yeah, the base was failing, but again, the teleportations a really good aspect of the game. A really, really nice improvement. What we could use in some of the maps that we're struggling on. So I'm going to be like missing it when I go back to the Wii U version next week. I'm going to be like, no, I want to continue with this. But sadly, I can't. I guess I could if we have the characters unlocked. But I need the character's weaponry, and I don't have those. I don't think, at least. I can have a look. I don't have Link's Fairy. I don't have Impa's Blade. I have Impa's Nag... Oh, no, I do have Impa's Blade. I don't have Impa's Nagatana. So I can do some of the maps in this game. Because I've got Skull Kid playable. I've got freaking Impa's Blade playable. Oh, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> Where is this game? Linkle recovered it, hung it from her neck, 
and vowed never to lose it again. The compass's light was quite a mystery to her. She didn't know what secret power it might hold. Whatever the case, it had to be a sign of her status as the legendary hero. I wonder if Link calls the kid of Link and Zelda them. It's possible. We know it's possible. And save Hyrule. Her faith renewed. Linko continued her quest. Okay, well, that's the Linkle level I wanted to show you guys because it was a fun one. And there you go. See, everything else looks so much more better. It looks more... They've played with it a lot more. Didn't do well for those. Got a lot more teeth. Ooh. One of those things. All right. The Superstar activated all focus spirit bonuses. Shit. I did that fucking thing. Wow. As you can see, though, there's nothing up there as well for Linkle's tail. A lot more shit going that way. So far, we've got all the school chillers in the game. But again, we can play as Lana in the next one, which I'm really looking forward to. But what I'm just going to show you, first of all, I'm going to go into free mode. I'm going to click in Elden Caves. And I can play as three different characters. Like, you know, I can only just choose my same character. I could play as three different characters now in one. And also, I have this. As you can see, the bottom one. So we've got the trainee tunic, my hero's tunic, and... The Breath of the Wild. Very nice. Same with Zelda as well. We've got a normal costume. And we've got a Breath of the Wild one. I like that. I'm going to use that from now on for her. Have we got any, any other secret costumes hiding? Or do we have to unlock those? I guess that was like a last minute thing that they had to do. Ooh, you've got one too. Oh. Alright, yeah, because I used that one most of all to play with. So you're my character costume for that. You are going to change... No... Until I get Dark Link somewhere in the map, I'm going to stick with you. And for Zelda, we're going to stick with you because I like that one. Right, so that's the one thing that's changed. Them two characters. Now this one. Just look at that fucking list. We have done the adventure map in the other one. But look, it looks a little bit different. I don't know who the fuck that is. Maybe Young Link? So I've got to get to that first to unlock him. And then I've got to go all the way left to unlock Twilight Midna. To then go all the way to, to the right to unlock Skull Kid. And then unlock freaking Tingle. So yeah, I've got to do all those. And then we've done the Master Quest map before as well. Which is all of those fucking costume characters and all the new swords as well. Like level 3 weaponries and shit. There's a lot more collectibles in these. Which is fantastic. But again, I'm not going to be redoing the adventure map, or the Master Quest map, or the Twilight map on these ones. Because we've got no new characters to unlock on this one, which is weird. But a lot more costumes have turned up. Like, there wasn't one there before, or here, or here. But the same, and same with Terminator as well. I've got to redo this, as you could, I just saw what the difficulty were. So again, no new characters, but we've got these owls as well to prove what we can do. New costumes and shit, there's so much more mini costumes. But that's the thing. Adventure map was easy. The Master Quest was the normal, the Twilight was the hard, and the Terminal was also another hard one. That's why I've been struggling so much on these two. But the new maps that we're going to be trying out is Great Sea Map, which is one we're going to be playing when we come back, which is a bit of a green tint, a bit of a green. We got to unlock Toon Link, straight away with Medley, I think her name is. Then we've got... What the fuck is this? I have no idea what the fuck that is. I just don't know. Like, at all what these are. <laughs> I just do not know. Caves, maybe? Dungeons? They're just new to me. So we've got that character there. We've got Tetra there. And we've got King Daphnis there. And no more, just more costumes. Which is quite nice. Because they weren't in the original adventure map. There was no costumes to unlock. But now there's fucking quite a bit. And there's a very rare few swords. I know the original one, there were swords everywhere. But still, after the Great Sea map, which is the Wind Waker, we've got the Wind Waker's Master Map. Again, new new characters, some things have changed, as you can see. A little bit normal on this one, though, but we get a new weapon for Linkle, or a heart for Linkle, which we didn't have before. So that's a good thing. We've got some more new character unlocks for him. 
the Colent Highland, which is I think is the first hero difficulty, which we've got fucking eggs now for some reason. And you unlock a new character after doing the first level, which is quite nice. Grand Travels map. Another one, which is the freaking like a new character there. I don't know who the fuck that is. I have no idea who the fuck that is. Like, who the fuck is that? I I just don't even know. I, that's one thing. I don't even know who this is. Like, obviously, I can do this level. I might play as Imp on it when I get to it. To get and try and get a goal. But these are going to be so fucking hard. I'm not even ready for these yet. But, like, I can start here. Or, what I've just seen. I can start here. What the fuck? I don't even know, like, why can I start here or there? You're on the same map square as a songstone. You will have the opportunity to receive an item card for your choosing. Songstones disappear after one use, but will reappear after a certain number of battles. Make the most of every songstone you come across to keep your item cards fully stocked. That is fucking helpful. I like these. These are new. I like them. But I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. It's a, it's a princess by the looks of it, but I've already got Zelda. Toon Zelda! Of course it would be. Just thought of it. Never mind, I know who you are now. But that's the hero difficulty. We've got two easies, two normals, two odds, which I've actually done quite good on them before. Then we've got a hero, a hero, and the low rule map. A link between worlds. This is a really clever one, what they've done here, though. Because there's certain things in these that can, like, teleport you over. Like, this line in the middle is, like, the link between worlds kind of thing. So, it's directly down the middle, and we've got to unlock all the characters that way. So, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I really don't fucking know. I'm just going to have to try my best. But we've got... When we come back after doing the Terminal map on the Wii U. Great C map. Master Wind Waker map. Colin, Grand Travels, and Low, and Low Rule. Which is why I thought to myself, as soon as I looked at it, I was like, I unlocked it, this is exactly what I did. I bought the game, played the game, played the first level, came home, and then it said, oh, you've unlocked free mode, adventure mode, and challenge mode. Sweet! Also, my fairy, I can't undo that yet, I need to unlock a fairy in the game, or adventure mode somehow. And then I clicked on this, it go for a little tutorial, then I saw that menu mark, I'm like, are you fucking serious? And then I said to myself, how I was ready to end this series after playing, after doing the Terminal map, but I was like, well, guess what I've got to do now? Got myself in the dedication lock here, and I'm just doing it. I'm just going for it. So we've got, what, another, what, two years on this? <laughs> My first year on YouTube, and I started this game, and now, what, two years later, I'm still fucking doing it. It's mad. It's just mad. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today with this video of Hyrule Warriors. I'm still going to call it Hyrule Warriors. I'm not going to change it to Definitive, definitive Edition. Unless it's the first episode when we come back to it. But either way, I'm going to leave it there for today. And I am going to leave you with... Pretender by Foo Fighters. Enjoy. Another one of your plays, you're a pretender